Jamia Cazinha. Welcome friends to my kitchen. Today is a perfect day for soup. Wherever we are these days, uh, there's cold everywhere, there's snow, there's rain, there's storming, so it's a perfect day to make some soup. I made a few weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, I made some clam, uh, New England clam chowder. Today, I'm going to make Manhattan clam chowder. It's kind of similar, but it takes a different component. It takes uh, tomatoes. So that's what I'm going to do. I had a big can and I had separate half. I made it last time and the other half I put it in a freezer and I came across and I'm going to make some Manhattan clam chowder. Um, it's kind of cold and it's a perfect day for soup and bread. So anyway, I'm going to move everything to the back counter and we're going to get started. In this pod, I have a tablespoon of olive oil and four strips of bacon that I chopped. And I that was recording. It wasn't recording. I got a phone call and it messed me all up. So I fried my bacon, add my onions, my celery, my carrots, and mixed all together until they got soft, about a minute, two minutes. Then I add the potatoes. I add a tablespoon of um, tomato paste, a can of crushed tomatoes, a teaspoon of thyme, and a bay leaf. Mix all that together, and then I add a box, a box of chicken stock. You can use beef stock, you can use fish stock. I didn't have um, fish stock, or I didn't have um, vegetable stock, so I'm using chicken stock. You won't be able to taste it. But anyway, so I just add the, the chicken, I mean the chicken stock when I realized it wasn't recording. And so now I'm gonna let all these vegetables cook here for maybe about, 15, 20 minutes. It's just until all the potatoes are cooked and then I'll, um, and then we'll go from there. I was so bummed. I need to put, uh, not disturb or turn the red button so it, I won't get phone calls and I forgot. So I'm sorry if you guys, any of you have uh, questions, it's very simple. Just add all the vegetables and all the spices, everything, the tomato paste, the tomato, add it all at once. It, and there goes my ear bud. Um, add it all to the pot and then let it cook. And then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna cover and need a little vent so the steam could come up and then I'll come back. Hey friends, it has been about 20 minutes and the potatoes look cooked and now we're going to add the clams. These were my frozen clams and I'm going to add a little bit of water because I want this more watery. teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. It's not required, but I like the taste that gives, so um, I always add. This is also not a conventional, not a normal thing to do for Manhattan clam chowder. You know me, I'm always changing. I like it, so I'm going to add. It's about a half a cup of heavy cream. It'll make more rich of us. We'll bring all this to a boil. We're going to taste for salt because I only add uh, half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to add a teaspoon and then we'll see how it goes. And then maybe about a half a teaspoon of pepper. Once it 
helps this simmer. I'll taste it. And our soup is done. I'm going to taste for salt now. A little bit, maybe about a half a teaspoon. It's a completely different taste of the other New England clam chowder. But you can taste that it's clam chowder. So I'm going to bring this to a simmer. Okay, friends, my Manhattan clam chowder is done. And I wish you could smell this. Uh, I got the bay leaf. It's done its job. And as you can see, it's a little bit more watery. I'm gonna put some bacon on top. And I'm gonna put this breast bacon all in here. I wish you could smell this. New England Manhattan clam chowder. This soup with some crusty bread, it is a meal in itself. Mm. It is so good. That cream, it adds a little sweetness to the broth. Mm. Vegetables all cooked. Delicious. Delicious, delicious. Perfect for those cold days. you have to try this soup. Like I said, I buy the big cans, a big can, I divide it in half, I make clam ch uh, the England, New England clam chowder, and then now I made this. You can freeze it. And so, this is something my husband will like. He likes this kind of soup. So anyway, here it is, another recipe. Delicious, easy, it's one pot meal. Can't go wrong with this. And you eat this, you're full. You don't need nothing else with some crusty bread. It's perfect. So give me some thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Share my videos with your friends on your social media. Don't forget to, to click the bell to activate so you don't miss none of my videos. Also, when you comment, please tell me where you're from so I can give you a shout out. That's my goal for this, this year is to uh, thank all those people that comment and subscribed um, on my channel. But I need to know where you're from. Tell me the city, tell me the country, where you're from, and I will give a shout out to you. And until next time. Let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. I can't even talk. Keep your days warm with a cup of soup. Until next time.